Hello everybody, my name is Gabriel Gaming 5000 k Welcome to Resident Evil 4 Remake Part 1. Yes, right folks, this remake has been released in 2023. So yeah, and the original Resident Evil 4 came out in 2005. It came out on GameCube back in the back in my third grade year. Well, fourth grade year. But anyways, let's get on to the main story. New game! I'm gonna try, let's see here. Assisted mode. Here we go. And enjoy this cutscene. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. That night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important then. The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then, it should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> You smoke? Sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? <laughs> 
want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. Chapter one begins, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's see what's taking so long, all right? Let's take a look at this uh, dead animal. Oh God, who will do such a thing? Seriously, we're in the woods right now, trying to ch check for the police. You can see a flock of clothes, crows flying away. But anyway, we're gonna go inside of this house, right here now. Okay, here we go. So many logs in there. Anyone oh god. Home? Let's see if there's anyone home. We should look in there. Uh, all we got is a charm. Crew charm. Judgment is nigh. And let's go over there. And also, let's get into that door. He just dropped the Hunter's Lodge key. Thank you. But anyway, let's have a good look at this stew. Man, that stinks. Well, no kidding, it does stink. And, uh, why is there a dead rabbit on a cutting board? Let's have a good look. Officer's badge, National Police Corps, Mario Fernandez Castano, police officer. And we should go. I'm gonna use this Hunter's Lodge key, the key to the Hunter's Lodge basement. We're gonna unlock this door. And this leads to the basement. And Leon just snapped a guy's neck for threatening to kill him. Oh my god. And you can see rats over here. We're gonna open up this curtain. And let's have a good look. officer was killed by one of those axe-throwing dudes. It's time to escape from the Hunter's Lodge, folks. L2 lets you rid of your weapon, and plus R2 lets you fire. Yeah. Oh, God. That dude's still alive? What we gotta do is shoot him. When he grabs you, he shaves off your health. So we gotta use R2 to use our knife. Yeah, no kidding. It does get worse. It's a, it's because of a parasite. And we see another Ganado over here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna ambush the heck out of him by pressing R2. Let's see if he drops anything. No, he just break that door open. 
Good lord. And we got ourselves a green herb. And also... The, I just got an herb, dude! When you stun him, melee attack him by pressing the X button. That way you can kill him fast. You can easily kill weak enemies, you know? But let's go upstairs and enter in the room. The main enemies are called Ganados, folks. Anyway, time to head for the lake. We're gonna follow the trail of blood everywhere. So Leon's goal is to rescue the president's daughter. The daughter's name is Ashley Graham. Right. The president I'm referring to is President Graham. Right. By killing a crows, we get Besitas. I'm gonna call them money from now on. What's one house the barrel? And he got a call from Ingrid Hunnigan, and they're doing code names. Like, Condor One is Leon, Roost is uh, Ingrid Hunnigan, and Ashley Graham is Baby Eagle. Why are they naming bird code names? <laughs> Let's kill some more crows. And. When we kill the crows, good items drop. Well, let's go inside of there and open up that drawer so that we get handgun ammo. We gotta press the circle button so that we can crouch. Mm hmm. We're gonna fight all those Ganado dudes coming out. Not very friendly, you know. Let's see if there are any more coming by to, do it, to kill me. If you run out of health, you will get a, a words like, You are dead. And uh, watch out for those bear traps. They can incapacitate you. Well, you won't take damage, but you will be stunned. When an enemy is down, you better use your knife. And watch your knife duration, because if your knife duration runs out, it's going to break. Uh, yeah, let's head inside of this house. Well, the shed here. That way we can get some flash grenades. Flash grenades are useful for stunning bad guys. Red herbs are useless without mixing herbs. So anyway, we're going to be crafting them. If you become lost, you can check your current position and objectives on the map. If you have a treasure map, you'll also be able to see the locations of hidden valuables. Key items. They are valuable when you have no use for it. Certain materials such as resources, gunpowders, and knives can be used to craft different items. The type of items that you can craft can be increased by obtaining new crafting recipes. You can set a weapon to a shortcut by selecting the weapon in the items menu. Up to eight weapons can be reassigned at once. Two weapons on each of the four directions. Okay. Press the square button to move. And we're going to mix this green herb with the red herb. And presto! Mixed herbs! Pretty cool. If you have green and red herbs, you can fully restore your health. We're going to open this gate, and once we open it... Oh my god, those severed heads fell down! We're heading to the village, folks. Let's use our binoculars. Inspect. Holy shit. 
Oh. Oh my God. Those Ganados just burned an officer down on the stand as an execution. This is messed up. Horrible. <gasps> oh God, we just alerted those bad guys. All we gotta do is kill, kill a bunch of enemies. Fight them off, folks. But I should probably get inside of this house just so that I could get some shotgun shells. We're gonna, we're gonna get some shotgun anyway. I got a chainsaw guy over here. And that Ganado with a ladder? You be kidding me. No! I'm not kidding you. All you gotta do is push the shelf into the window so that way these Ganados won't enter in the window. Cool! Get ourselves the WA870 shotgun. These chainsaw guys are going to be very annoying, you know. They can easily kill you with one hit. Instant, that means instant death. So no matter how many health you got, those chainsaw granadas will instantly kill you. That would be no good. Let's give them a kick. Oh god. I might want to use grenades. No! Stay away from me! Oh god. Throw a grenade at them. Kick the window. And yeah, that way they don't want to climb up there. Why do these guys use ladders? Leave me alone! You need to be very careful with these chainsaw guys because I hate them. I hate those guys with a passion. Yes, yeah, stay down, right? By defeating him, we get an emerald. In other words, let's go over there and see what we got. Let's get onto that t and pick up the Velvet Blue. And by the way, I'm going to be doing 100% on this playthrough. By collecting treasure. Well, I'm going to get all the valuable items. So that way, people would like it. People in the comments, are you enjoying this? game because if you are please let me know I have to say in every part I love this game and yes you can see chickens over there and they can lay an egg but further furthermore oh my god this shed is literally on fire and so as the bull got ourselves some more shotgun shells that's cool and uh, also I, I Probably get, I probably may have to mention this. Press L1 to parry. The parry. Here it comes. You gotta time it correctly. Yeah, that's the way to par parry. This costs the duration of your knife. You know what I mean? No, seriously, you know what I mean, folks? Furthermore, I am gonna be going into this shed. Oh, for the love of... Press... You gotta tap the X button to break free. Get off me, you Ganado freak! Oh, you just break that uh, stone? Oh my god! But anyway, folks, I'm going inside and kick some Ganado butt. Oh, let's take him out of. He just came out of the wardrobe? I know they keep coming, Leon. Just keep holding them off. Press the square button to reload, you know what I mean? And he's breaking the table! He broke the table! And there are locked treasures in in every chapter. Well, some of them are. But anyway, let's keep on killing these dudes until the church bell rings. Headshot is the only way to kill those guys, yo. Watch out for axe-throwing enemies. Because they're annoying, you know. So I'd say let's go up there. Let's go up on this tower and get some more items. 
Why not? When we pick up this herb, the floor breaks. Oh, gee! You just fell down, bro. Literally. Ow! That hurt, you idiot! Yeah, I hear the church bell ringing, you know? Where's everyone going? Bingo? Resident Evil 4. So it all begins, folks. These guys are heading back to Sadler. Sadler is the main villain, by the way. Alright folks, it's time for us to head to the lake. We're going to be heading to the windmill, like Hunnigan says. There's going to be treasure in every level. Open up this case so that we can get the ruby. Rubies are very important for combining any treasures that are combinable. You know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be cool. No items in here. So we're gonna head into this area which leads to the windmill and the and the barn. There it is. Yep, there it is. Alright, this is a typewriter, ladies and gentlemen. You can save your progress at any typewriter. You can also swap out weapons in your inventory via the storage menu. I'm not going to be saving right now. But furthermore, we, we got some Ganados that we got to fight. And let's take down this bitch right here. Why don't we? Well, she's uh, picking up hay with a pitchfork. Nice ambush, bro. Nice ambush. She drops gunpowder. By defeating her, she drops gunpowder. And you can see blue medallions hanging around. But let's read this blue note. You can take on tasks by collecting the blue request notes posted around different areas. View the quest you've taken in the files menu. For the love of God, will somebody please get rid of the blue medallions those religious lunatics left hanging around? We gotta destroy five blue medallions. That way we can get ourselves spinel. Those spindles are blue crystal looking things. Let's go in this barn where there's pigs and chickens and, and even a bull. Even bulls are in there. Let's take out that ganado over here. Why are there so many cow skeletons everywhere? That's a whole lot of skeletons. Our treasure is on that windmill thing, that little windmill. Make sure it doesn't hit the water, because if it hits the water, you'll get a dirty pearl pendant, which is less valuable. You know? 
Make sure it hits the floor. Okay. And also, we gotta shoot those blue medallions. Okay, so that's one. We got four more to go. The second blue medallion is in there. I'm gonna check my map. That blue medallion's by the typewriter shed. And in the barn as well. To hide a, to hide a shoot. Well, it's a knife. Press, press L2 and, well, L1, and press R2 to parry your knife, to knife attack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my ammo. Okay, it's time to look for the last medallion, all right? That final medallion is probably in there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in there by pressing the L R3. Well, chain, by moving the R3 up. It's already full. So this is the Wayward Shrine. Pick up this green herb. And let's get in there. That way we can get that final blue medallion. Let's open that gate door in there. We better watch out for the trip wires. Don't touch the trip wires. Because it, it'll explode on you and you can sh it'll shave off your health. That's not good. This is a yellow herb, ladies and gentlemen. You can't use you can't use the herb the yellow herb, so you gotta combine the yellow herb with the red herb or the green herb. When you use it, it'll increase your maximum health. It would really help if you if you get your health increased, you know. The wooden cog is missing, so we're gonna have to find a way to get it, you know. But. Let's go over this area and find that treasure. Our second treasure is the Flagon. You can view the treasures you've collected in the key items in the treasures menu. Some treasures can be sold at a higher price by fitting them with gemstones. Yeah, that's right, folks. Some of these items can be fitted with gemstones. That includes Ruby, blue gemstones and the yellow ones. Alright, let's go inside and kick that lock open. Reload, please. One, two, three. Alright, let's pick up this cog. Kitchen knife. What's that? Oh my god! Alright, folks, that's the brute. These guys are going to be very annoying. He has a hammer that could shave off your health. He will s damage you real easily. I bet your shotgun would really help. When he's blinded, give it a good chance to kick him. This dude reminds me of the Executioner from Resident Evil 5. But I digress. Gotta knock him out real good. Are there any more Ganados to fight right now? Please? Climb up. You gotta find the final medallion, folks. I mean, come on. Let's jump over there. Get some more crates. That final medallion's right there. Come on, shoot it! Booyah! Here he is. Not on my watch. Die. Die, you Ganado losers. These Ganado dudes, they speak Spanish. And they work for Sadler. When their bodies are severed, all they do is reveal a parasite all over the body. Oh, God. I literally mean that. 
honestly. Another ruby. That's cool. Very good. But apparently more of these guys keep coming. I hope that's not that chainsaw dude. Oh god, he's still alive? Are you freaking serious? His neck snapped. Just because his neck his neck snapped doesn't mean he can't die. A parasite lives in him. Oh my that is messed up and creepy. Anyways, we're gonna place this wooden cog on that uh, socket. We're gonna place it there next. We're gonna pull down that lever. Once you pull the lever, the gates open. So that would be great. I think we're good to go, folks. Yeah, we're good to go. Alright. All we gotta do is watch our Watch the, let's see, quick time events. I mean, there was no boulder here, folks. That's kind of odd. We're going to keep collecting more money. You know, money is important. Got resources for combining your weapons. You know? And uh, kick more. Kick some more crates. And... We're gonna go. I mean, honestly, I, the flashback was in Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake. You know, where we saw Kendo, Ada, and, and, and Claire and Sherry. You know? Okay. Get the crap out of that barrel. Get more handgun ammo and before that we're gonna have to craft let's start crafting our handgun ammo extra herbs cool all good yeah all good good all good to go oh it just exploded they just blew up that pillar let's take those dudes out Take this. Yeah, great parrying, Leon. Roadhouse. <sighs> we can enter in the tunnel. Whoa. You can see bats flying. Too bad, you can't kill the bats. But even in Resident Evil 4 2005, you can kill the bats. And you can't even break the door. You can't break down doors with your bullets. I mean, in 2005 you can. But not in this one, you know. This looks a lot different than the one in 2005. You know what I mean? Oh great, another one of these bear traps. Watch out for those dynamite dudes. These dynamite dudes are very annoying. When these dynamites explode on you, they shave a lot of health off. They shave your health off, nonetheless. So watch out, okay? You can hear some beeping noise in there. More tripwire. On. Let's kill those dudes. Come on, break more of those. Whoa, you did flinch at that explosion. But if you get too close, you're gonna take serious damage, you know. Come on. 
I'd say we climb up this ladder and kill that dynamite freak. You better shoot the dynamite. Boom! How do you like that? Okay. I'm gonna go inside of this house and, uh... Let's see what we can do inside of there. Let's get in there and kick, get some items. More shotgun shells. Good to know. Let's, let's kick his ass then. There we go. I gotta reload my ammo. Oh no! More dynamites! How many dynamites does he keep throwing? Don't get too close, Leon! Shoot his arm off! Oh, quick! Blast him! He's been ripped in half! Oh my god! Yeah, these Ganados, they do get ripped in half by an explosion. You can see their parasitic parts everywhere. More, more money. And you have a locked door, so we're going to have to find a, key, find a key for that. Another shrine. I think this is a way shrine. Way shrine for the treasure. You need to find a way shrine key, you know. This the place. Yes, this is the place, Leon. Gotta knife that lock. And open up that cabinet. Get more red herbs. I hear tripwire. Oh great. Another beeping sound? Oh god. More of these. Careful. Okay, get some more resources. Come on! Pick it up! A picture frame? You serious? We gotta move that shelf out of our way. You know? Eh? And there's that Ganado hammering the, hammering the sledge, taking the leg, and melee him. Before that, let's open up our shelf to get some more ammo. Take the planks off. Two of them, so that we can open the ledge and go underground. There we go. Wee! And we got ourselves good old flashlight. Yeah. That hurts, you know. It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you gotta smoke. You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just in time. That was chapter one, ladies and gentlemen. And for some, who is this mysterious monster that just injected Leon by knocking him out? And also, who is this mysterious man in the body bag? We'll find out on the next chapter, for now. Cutscene time. Sacrificial lamb. You will receive our most sacred.
37. Guess you, me, in the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey! Stop it! You move, I move. And I'm beat up in other cities. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before. Those Canadas took Leon's gear and even his jacket as well. So this is Louis Serra. I think he's one of the Umbrella researchers. In the 2005 version, he was voiced by Irina Romano, but in this game, he was voiced by Andre Pena. So yeah, that's Louis Serra, folks. And by the way, we're in the abandoned factory. Oh my God. I don't even have a knife. Condor Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Well, great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. He said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. Probably do for confession anyway. Condor one out. Uh, so, so chapter two now begins, folks. Huh. You can perform wide sweeping slash attacks with the R two. You can also deliver quick stab attacks with the R two while holding L one. Knife attacks are very important. Time to head for the church, folks. You know what I mean. Seriously, you know what I mean? Okay. When you hear them talking, these Ganadas talking, do not alert them. If you sneak behind an enemy when you have a knife, you can take them out in a single move without making any noise. This also reminds me of the Evil Within when Sebastian Castellanos takes out enemies by ambushing them with, with, his, uh, with his axe or his knife. And they also take out these haunted dudes but yeah you gotta press R2 to ambush that dude so don't get spotted because if you get spotted you still gotta knife them you know what I mean yeah I can hear rats oh god if you have a knife, you can parry an attack with L1 when the prompt appears in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can successfully parry even if you press it before the prompt appears. Time it right and the enemy will be staggered. Take that. Oh, anyways, we have to kill some rats. That's one of the side quests. You know? I'm on. Hey. Get your ass back here, you rat scum. I think there's another rat over here I gotta kill. Man, these rats are terrified. I wonder why they're so terrified. Because when Leon spots one of those rats, they run away. We gotta open these containers up so that we can get a sapphire. 
So this is the first treasure of chapter two. Sapphire, folks. Gotta destroy two bear traps first. Because if you step on one of the bear traps, you're gonna be incapacitated. That would be no good. No friggin' good at all. Come on! What are you waiting for, Leon? Knife the stupid rat! Come on! There we go. Oh, jeez. Got him. Now then. Let's go in there and see what we have here. But for right now, we are not leaving until we get our stuff. So we gotta hold on the X button to turn the wheel around so that the gate can open. But by the way, we have to make it before the gate closes on us. Fall through the window and run, Leon, run! Way to roll, man. Ah, got our, got our gear back. Cool. Back. And another locked treasure. Let's unlock that door from the other side. Over here, stranger. Who's that? Let's do some business. Merchant tip, get rich quick. How are the requests coming along? Did you know that you can trade the spindles that you receive as a reward for valuable goods that can't be bought otherwise? We got loads of useful items, but I recommend you pick up a treasure in the most. These maps details the location of the cult's cherished hidden treasures. Took me and the lads a lot of time to find them. With these maps handy, you'll never be skint again. Surely you may have to venture into some dangerous areas to get them, but you can't handle that, right? Weapons and items can be bought or sold to the merchant using pesetas. You can also upgrade or repair your weapons and equipment. Once you've completed the task received from a blue request note, you can claim the reward by talking to the merchant. Good stuff, stranger. Pest control is finally done. We won't have to pick it up anyway. I got something new for you. You can buy, tune up, Sell or trade? I'd say we're gonna buy something first. We're gonna we're gonna buy the case upgrade. It's worth ten thousand dollars. And there's also a recipe for bolts. Your first aid spray and a rifle and machine gun. A bit more space never hurt anyone. Perfect size for you, stranger. Tune ups is where you upgrade your weapons, you know? You mean your combat knife, your pistol, good hands, and your shotgun. I'll see you right. They include power, ammo capacity, your reload speed, and your rate of fire. I'd say we repair your your duration of your knife. Give that the care it deserves, mate. Key items that are no longer serve a purpose can be sold to the merchant. Let's sell the hunter's key, you hunter's lodge key. Do you much well, well. I can Number one. Yourself. Where is where we get the velvet blue. A deal well struck. We also it sold the, the pearl pendant. We can't sell the flag on just yet. So we're going to trade. What are those pink stuff? That was for completing a submission. I'd say we buy the treasure map village, okay? And let's get the yellow diamond anyway. We will. We will, sir. And let's get that crate. By the way, I gotta check my map. In other words, these are called treasure. The gem thing is called a treasure. Whenever There's a total of 39 in this village. So we're gonna be collecting 39 right here, folks. We need to get a hexagon item, you know? 
You're heading to the valley, Leon. You've been captured by... by the chief. I wonder who this village chief's name is. I think this is Chief Mendez. Vitoris Mendez. That's right. He kind of reminds me of a tyrant from Resident Evil 2. But, in other words, we're in the valley. So let's take out those Ganado dudes first. Okay? But right now, let's go inside of this area and pick up the first aid spray. We're gonna beat the shit out of these Ganado punks right now. Not bad, right? No, totally not bad. One. How do I get him a shotgun just in case he's dead? Whoa, perfect headshot, Leon. Perfect headshot, man. I love the headshot sound effects. <laughs> There's a fuel barrel. Those fuel barrels can instantly kill enemies. You cannot knife the fuel barrel because it will explode on you. Do not get close to the freaking dynamite. Get out of my way, you old hag. Jeez. Come on. Bam. Come on. Finish it off. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, look. There's a treasure up there. Watch out for these... Axe one, dudes. Oh no! Stay away from the dynamites! Take that. Okay. Get the ruby. Oh crap. More dudes to worry about. You don't scare me. I'm tough. Totally tough. Well, tough like nails to be exact. And, uh, yeah. Once we're done dealing with these guys... Yeah, these guys... One of them, they throw molotovs. And they carry a torch. You know? Why do they keep throwing axes at me? I just kicked you in the face! They got a sight! Why do they have sights? Come on. It's not even that hard, Leon. Just keep killing them, okay? Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Let's turn the wheel to the left so that the gate can open up. And next, you gotta find that hexagon item. It's located over there. These Ganados won't shut up. And they can. St Ow! Those pitchfork dudes are way worse. They do a charge attack so that they could stab you right in the chest. Oh no! Seriously, there's a small key located over here in the valley. So that means we are going to have to go inside of there and find it. On, hurry up. Let's go into that window. Let's open up that locker to get some more ammo. Kill him. Serves you right. Now open up that case and get the small key, Leon. Oh, go away! I just got the small freaking key.
one. All I gotta do is start killing those guys right now. Why do these guys keep coming? When you see the bodies wobbling, give it a good chance to stab them in the neck to finish them off. And when you see something red, that means it's a weapon. Glowing red, glowing yellow, that means money. Blue, probably grenades. Probably some grenades, you know. Got some shotgun shells. And we got ourselves a hexagonal emblem. And once we get that, more Ganados appear. Come on. Come on. Die, you bastard. Go away! Oh, good thing I got the potato. Okay. Kill him. Cool. Now I gotta reload. We're out of this area, folks. No, literally, we are. Okay, please don't worry about that axe woman right now. Where is she? I think she's somewhere over there, but don't worry about her, just ignore her. Anyway, folks, now that I've got that small key, why don't we go back to the factory and unlock, okay? So, uh, yeah, folks, let's go back to the factory, the abandoned factory. Doesn't that factory kind of remind me of Resident Evil Village where we get to take out Carl Heisenberg? I mean, the merchant kind of reminds me of the Duke. The, you know what I mean? That... Yeah. Door's locked. So that means we gotta get back to where we unlock that door. No matter what. Okay? Alright. You can only use the small key once. And when you use it, the small key breaks. By unlocking this, we get ourselves an elegant mask. That one is combinable. So we're going to combine this leg on first. And once we put the gemstones in, like two of them, two of the same color, Put two of them in the same color so that it can give you a duo bonus. And also, if you put it on to two different colors, that's a uh, two color bonus. So I'd say let's use uh, these two. two. Two rubies. That way we can save one of the color gems. You know what I mean? Also, Got to, I forgot to combine the elegant mask. This is a masquerade mask. Okay, blue, red, blue, and yellow. Perfect. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Oh, cool. I'd say we upgrade the uh, ammo. Let's use the rifle from now on. Your inventory's full. Let us know when you've made some room. Okay. I better make room, folks. Okay. So the main villain of this video game is Osmond Sadler. Yeah, that's right, folks. Osman Sadler. He's really he's the leader of the Los Illuminados. That's the name of the cult group. You know? And he's the cult leader. They're gonna turn Ashley into a parasite, right? Yeah, Ashley Graham is the uh, blonde girl with the orange vest-looking sweater. She doesn't even have sleeves. And she wears a green skirt and leggings and boots. Take 
the this merchant is, is so funny. Discounted items. Discounts are only available during the chapters they appear in. Let's buy the scope. Free, free. You're a man of good taste. Thank you, man. Seriously, thanks. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. There you are, as you wish. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Anything else I can help you with? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Rifle ammo. Anyways, let's use that hexagonal emblem here. You gotta make sure that this matches. You gotta place it over there so that the handle will appear. You gotta turn it right so that the iron bars will open. Let's go! Open up, Leon! There's going to be some enemies over there trying to ambush me. So let's take these guys out. Okay? Yeah, this one will spot me. Whoa, we just touched the bear traps. <laughs> Oh, those are large resources. Oh, uh oh, another Ganado just showed up. Another Sapphire! Sweet! Uh oh. <gasps> oh god! Get away from me! her leg off <laughs> whoa another crow when you shoot a crow they fly away you know what I mean you better pay attention to where the crows are and bear traps and uh, the tripwire trip wires are very dangerous folks okay to be exact we're gonna once we shoot down this wooden stick that the well is, it'll close. And shoot that lamp down so that we can get, get another pearl pen. Do not shoot that thing first. Oh no, not the chainsaw guy again. He's gonna be using the fuck you chainsaw. That can instantly kill you. Run for it, man. Run. How many of you chainsaw punks are there? Whoa! Who got the trip, man? Run before he decapitates you! Alright. Now he's done. Kick him! Oh, it's too late. He's dead. No, he's not. Come on! Keep killing him! That chainsaw guy is starting to get on my nerves! I friggin' hate him with a burning passion! Yeah, shooting the chainsaw does not help. No. We got another emerald. Ooh, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else there. Nope. I think that's it. So, let's go inside of this house and pick up... This note. Scribble about dolls. Their influence is not what it once was. Destroy the wind-up dolls. Do not forgive those aristocrats. Alrighty then. I think those things look like resemble of Ram Ramon Salazar. You better destroy those. Whenever you destroy them, this auto saves. You know what I mean? Where is there a friggin' treasure when you need one? Seriously, where is it when you need one, okay? Anywho, uh, let's see if we can... Where's that stupid lamp? 
where the where the heck is it? Where's the lamp? Where is the stupid freaking lamp? There it is. It's on the ropes. What does that give you? Another blue sapphire. Huh. That's nice. That's friggin' nice. And also, careful of those trip wires. Do not touch it. Because if you touch that trip wire, it's gonna explode on you. That, this is the manner to the chiefs. The manner of the chief. Chief Mendez's manner. Let's take that. Ow! Come on. Come on. Yes. Serves you right. And also, let's see if there's treasure here. Yep, there's treasure over there. All right. Stupid bear freaking trap. What's all that coming? Looks like we're going to need that key. You know? Gotta pay more attention to where those bear traps are, folks. Because I hate bear traps with a burning passion, you know? This is sub-objective. Okay, open this door. Let's just blow that dude's head off. He's dead. Is there anything in there? No, probably not in there. But who cares? Well, we got ourselves a ruby. There we go. Photo of a family, at last. Flesh of our flesh, blood of our blood. Give thanks and rejoice. Okay, when we enter over there, you can hear this parasitic sound. Did I hear something? Yes, I think I heard it. So this is the combination. Wheat, pig, and a baby. Here we go. By completing it, we open up the, the cabinet so that they can give you the crystal marble. The crystal marble is a key item. Strange hissing. Yes, that's that Ganado dude that we had to that we knocked him out with. Thought he was dead. No, he isn't. He was just unconscious. Old photos. Yeah, old, old photos, man. We pick up the small key. That would really help. Okay, open up that, open up the oven so that he can give you a brown chicken egg. What's the brown chicken egg for? Your health. They restore some health, you know. I'd say let's combine them, okay? Okay, all good to go. Let's go upstairs. There's another typewriter. Red herb. Illuminados. In great veneration of their masters, the people offered up their most prized possessions. The old farmer, his finest crop. The slight swineherd, his stoutest pig. The beggarly granddam, her beloved babe. The master saw these gifts and was pleased. Okay, we're going to put this crystal marble in there. And when we put it in there, we got to solve that puzzle. we got to make sure that the marble fits the... Uh, the logo. The symbol is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean, guys? It's kind of an annoying puzzle. But it requires patience. Well, some patience, probably. Better make sure that this matches. This is going to be very tricky. Well, not just tricky, but obnoxious. Come on. 
Come on, please. That looks seriously different. Yes! Perfect! By completing the marble puzzle, the door is unlocked. Village Records, Volume 3. Date, October 10. The weather has been st strange of late. The wheat withers and the cows grow thin. Date, December 8. There are signs of famine. It is true that we lack the means to work the fields, but Lord Sadler's orders are absolute. Date, January 30th. 30 people have starved to death. Five cows will be slaughtered. Date, March 11th. The patriarchs gathered to cast lots. Six more chosen for Lord Sadler. Date, April. Eight more today. Date, four more today. Date, 11 more today. Date, two outsiders got lost and wandered into the village. We took them to the altar for the ritual. No need to cast lots today. <sighs> so that's Osman Sadler. The leader of the Illuminados. That's a big photo of him, folks. Oh my god. Let's open up that drawer to get the insignia key. Your blood has accepted the gift. So this is Chief Mendez, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in the 2005 version, he is voiced by Jesse Corti. But in the remake, he is now John Bryant. And who is this mysterious woman that just shot uh, Mendez? And she just flew up. Uh, let's go to the next chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, chapter three. Time to head for the church. Recognize that whimper. I think it's a wolf. Did that, did that wolf just get trapped in that uh bear trap? Oh my god. Poor guy. Yeah, you take care of yourself, man. We just saved the wolf's life. That that creature is so beautiful, Leon. I love dogs too. They're awesome. Now that we got the insignia key, let's unlock the gate. I wonder where this leads to. And uh let's see. Okay, this leads to that uh, village, you know. The village, folks. That's right, village. So that's good to know. We can't go into this barn, so we're going to have to find a partner. You know what I mean? Open up this gate. And let's go into the shed. 
break that crate open. Some more potatoes. But from now on, I'm gonna combine my items. Nope. Once you mix two green herbs there, you can't combine the red herbs, you know? No, 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 no. I'd say we're gonna have to, uh... Let's part, let's, let's combine the scope for the, for the rifle. That way, it'll be a sniper rifle. Oh, he's flying bats. Oh! I love the sounds of the wolves. Wolves are awesome, Leon. Wolves are totally awesome. I love dogs and wolves. They're canines. Alright, let's take out that crow. Bullseye. Wink. That kid, that bull's been murdered. Oh my god. Oh shit! That one just exploded! You're gonna be running into those new enemies called... The Comijos. That means bang in Spanish. These guys are very annoying. They're zombified dogs or wolves, you know. They're gonna bite you, and when they pin you to the ground, they are gonna bite your face off. And that's no good. You know what I mean? No good. Piss off! Oh, that was insane. Great, the path's blocked. Literally. I can't believe that path is totally blocked. Before we go, I'd say we're going to use the small key for the treasure. Small key. Presto! We got ourselves a vintage compass. Take that barrel. We're gonna take out those enemies right now. You hear faint beeping, so that's a tripwire. It's a lot of pesetas, folks. All right, let's let's get some shotgun shells. Why not? On the bed. Come on. I'd say we get the heck out of there, okay? Another trip wire. How many trip wires are there? How many? No, seriously. How many? Get away from me. Seriously? Okay, folks, I'm gonna take her out. But once I take her out, I'm gonna get this herb. There goes the knife. <laughs> this leads to the sewers. I'm gonna go in there and get some, uh, some more money by breaking all the barrels. Okay, that's good. Probably good. I think on the other side I gotta get some more items. Right here, right now. Well, at least I got, the, got a lot of kitchen knives. Get the red herb. Booyah. Now combine them. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let 
you can't light out the torches in the remake. But let's use the insignia key to enter in this uh, this sacred church. Wow. You can see vipers over there. Yeah, vipers will attack you because they're going to be very annoying. You shoot one viper. You collect them. They are used for eating, you know. You can also eat vipers. Which kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. That snake can eat snakes. <laughs> oh, God. That is a hell of a lot of bones all over the place. Even skulls. Ugh. Seriously. Who in the world would ever do that? Illuminados. Sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mothers shall sew new, new small cloths. Small clothes. At seven kindles of wheat and half a bowl a day, you have outgrown your pen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. Ugh, creepy. That is one big ass skull, you know? First aid spray. And velvet blue. <laughs> That's cool. You're a great treasure hunter, you know? Kind of remind me of Knuckles and Rouge from Sonic Adventure 2, where they can find the three pieces of the Master Emerald, three Chaos Emeralds, and the three keys of the Pyramid. Egg Pyramid. Merchant Ship. The Prudent Choice. Sick of constantly running out of ammo? Well, have I got a treat for you. The bolt throwers is something else, mate. Its bolts can be retrieved and reused, so you can keep shooting forever. Also, don't forget to buy the bolt recipes to turn your extra knives into well bolts. Never worry about ammo again. And that's not all. You can fix the bolts with the attachable mines. Proximity explosives to quickly turn the weapon into a powerful mine thrower. Shoot at an enemy to see them explode instantly, or at a surface to set proximity mine. You'll lose the bolt, but it'll be worth it. I'm going to sell some, tr some pearl pendant and the vintage compass, the velvet blue. You got to sell three vipers. Let's repair the knife. Another recipe, bolts and flash grenades. We've been saving that one for the right customer. Will that be a comeback any time? Will do, sir. Will do. Anyway, let's read this one. Viper Hunter. A dear friend of mine is gravely ill, and I'd very much like to treat them to some delicious vipers before they pass. Is there a snake charmer willing to get a land a hand? All we gotta do is sell three vipers. Right now, we sold one viper, you know? We sold one to the merchant. Anyway, folks, this leads to the graveyard and to the church. Another church. I see we got a crow here. The church. I made it. All we gotta do is... Oh my god, he just noticed me. Kill him. Those guys don't quit. We gotta destroy all those symbols on the tombstones. They're pretty fragile. Those symbols are very fragile, you know what I mean? Piss off! What we gotta do is destroy the twin symbols first. That way we won't have to pick them up. Pick up that blue side quest note again. And also, this makes things easier for me. Destroying them. 
There we go. There we go. And open the gate. Damn it. Blocked. Gondor one to roost. The church is sealed up. And maybe Eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor 1, out. <laughs> Condor 1, L, out. Anyway, folks. I think Ashley is located in this big church. I think she's probably trapped. You know? But either way, why don't we go open up this this chest so that we can get the elegant headdress on the left side of that church. If you cannot pick up an item because your inventory is full, you can try moving things around to make room via the items menu. You can also craft items to free up some space. I'd say good call. Let's use that herb from now on. I can combine. Gotta move my grenades out of my way, out of the way. Never mind. Anyways, let's go in there. Photo of Ashley. Keep her locked in the church until the appointed time. You need a small key. Lakeside map. A pest from the outside world has come for the girl. Lock her in the church and wait orders from our lord. Until then, keep the church door shut. The key will be held in the cave on the other side of the lake. The monster will deal with the foolish intruder. You better cross the lake, folks. Open up this hatch. This leads underground. Cool. And that gate is locked from the other side, so let's unlock this one from now on. Of course, we're going to be going into that bridge. Lago means lake in English. Spanish word for lake. Lago. Watch out for these... Torch dudes. These guys throw Molotov cocktails. And they shave off your health slowly. Bam. The kitchen knife breaks really easily. Come on, die. Kill those guys. Ow! What is up with these stupid axe welding guys? Stop burning me! Wow, you see these Ganados swearing like sailors, you know. Press L3 to zoom. Perfect headshot. More of those guys? Great. Just great. I'd say we have to shoot that that treasure case. Stupid. 
stupid chain. Or in stupid canados. See how you like the flame. Don't like the fire, do you? Let's go inside of that cave looking area. There's a tripwire. When we kick that barrel, more ganados will pop up. Well, but I digress. And don't touch the tripwire. Not good. Not friggin' good. Path's blocked. So let's go over there to that ledge. And there's another, another blue note there. A spindle. Good luck finding someone big enough to use this thing. That hammer is super big. I bet Paul Bunyan can use that hammer to chop down the trees. <laughs> it, is there anyone who can destroy those blue medallions? The area is polluted by their presence, and I can't bear it. This. He located in the quarry in the fish farm. Okay, I'm gonna use some flashbang grenades to get rid of those crows. Bam! They kill them instantly. Let's kill another one. Oh god, more wolves. More zombified wolves. Are there any more of those scum freaks there? There they are. Why are their eyes glowing red? I think Sadler must have infected them, literally. Who in the world would ever want to do such a thing to those animals? Seriously, what the world? Also, there's a treasure in this area, so shoot that treasure case on the rope. That should give you a ruby. And also, shoot that blue medallion. Boom! Let's count how many more of these we got left, shall we? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Four more left, folks. Four more left. Another way shrine. I mean, what is your favorite Resident Evil enemy in this one? If you had to guess, please answer on the comments, okay? I think I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see here, probably these normal Ganados. They're one of my favorite enemies. Get cash back. Instead of letting your unused guns collect dust, why not sell them and spend the extra cash to upgrade a weapon you do use? When you sell a weapon you've tuned up, you'll get almost the expenses you put into it back. There's no catch, mate. We're just rooting for ya. <laughs> Good stuff, By completing Grave Robber, we get more spindles. Well, what can I do you for? But sell the elegant headdress, and even the velvet blue. Okay, let's see if I can trade. Uh, let's see. I'll probably trade the with the Punisher, but not now. Let's tune up. Okay. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. Will that be all? Then? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> We're gonna go into the shooting gallery, folks. There's an elevator that leads to the shooting gallery? Pirates theme? 
Good lord. So this is the shooting gallery is a lot different than the one in 2005. In the 2005 version, you have to shoot these Ganados without missing. If you shoot the Ganados without missing, it'll give you a bonus area where you can shoot the head of Salazar. If you shoot Ashley, you lose points. That's no good. You do get a ranking for shooting. You earn rare prizes than on the like bottle caps, you know? Target practice rules. Destroy the pirates and shoot for the high score. Weapons and ammo are unlimited, and it's all free. Earn tokens based on your score for a chance to win magnificent prizes. Prizes. Exchange your tokens for charms at a token machine. They're full of treasures that can be found nowhere else. Tips and tricks. You can destroy several targets at once by shooting nearby dynamite to set off an explosion. Careful. Shooting a sailor will deduct points from your score. Tips and tricks. Some targets cannot be destroyed with one shot. Shoot as many shots as it takes until they break. If certain conditions are met, bonus targets will be added. However, these conditions will change from game to game. Doesn't that remind me of One Piece where Luffy had to fight one of those pirates? Imagine if Luffy and the gang react to one of those pirates being killed. They would not be happy, but they can attack sick. You can attack sailors, like marines. Those pirates do fight the marines, you know? <laughs> and this is a uh, charm dispenser. You need to get three tokens to get one of them, you know? Let's ring the bell. Yeah. There are three choices. One is where you have to... Sh you have to use your pistol, B, sh is like shotgun or a rifle, and uh, I think it's a rifle, and C, rifle and a uh, pistol. You have to shoot the, the skull tokens to get a gold token. And also, you have to, sh you have to get at least 7,000 points to get the gold token as well. Bonus condition will be you have to kill all the pirates, you know? So let's go! Three, two, one, Don't shoot the sailors. Oh, yeah, you better shoot those skull tokens, because you shoot the body when the skull token appears will not count. That's no good. Don't shoot the sailors, bro. You know, for the best part, shoot the dynamites. Bonus time. You better shoot those treasure chests to get more bonus points. Oh, come on, make sure that the cursor moves slowly. This is fast. Yeah. We almost got all the skull. I'd say let's do it one last time, you know what I mean? You don't have to do it perfectly, you know? Come on. Phew! They almost just disappeared.
fire in the hole. Yeah, there's a. Ch oh, come on. Gotta make sure that we time this correctly. Ah, missed. I should have timed it right. But, anyways, keep going. There were two skulls on the chest? That's kind of odd. Almost. I'd say we keep going, okay? It worked last time. I should be able to be moving fast right about now. Yeah, the last one, the parrot, moves very fast. Oh, yeah! Yes! Woohoo! 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 I should probably try every plus 1,000, you know? Three, two, one, Maybe one last time, you know? Oops! Well, anyway, I already did the skull, so that shouldn't be a problem anyway. If I could try getting like over 9,000 or something. Use three silver or gold tokens at the token machines to win a random charm. The more gold tokens you use, the greater your chances of getting a rare charm. You know? We would put three of the silver tokens in there. We get ourselves Maria. Charms can be swapped out via the custom case menu at any typewriter. 15% magnum ammo craft bonus frequency. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna put the gold tokens onto that dispenser for right now. Let's get back in the ball game, okay, ladies and gentlemen? I just like target practicing sometimes. Sometimes target practicing can be very annoying. You know, sometimes it can't. But anyways, 
we go into this area, there's going to be a locked treasure. I'm going to be collecting ammo first. More resources. But first, let's craft. I gotta heal. Gotta heal. Okay. We need a small key. Oh god. We really do need a small key, that's for sure. And also, we gotta open up this chest so that we could give you a hexagon piece. Hey! Okay, what is the hexagon piece for? I think if this leads to that treasure over there, but we need three of each. Binoculars, man. I think it's the lake monster. That's not the creature from the Black Lagoon, Leon. This is a friggin' monster from the lake. But I digress. I think there is a blue medallion over here. You know? So I would say let's shoot that first. So that's two. Only three more. We need to get three hexagon pieces. The final hexagon piece is none in this chapter. You know. Another kitchen knife. Yep. Another one. Yeah, let's go in there to get some more shotgun shells. Why, why don't we? More good stuff. Let's get on that boat. Ooh, too bad you don't have fuel. Come on, fill the tank when you're done. <laughs> Come on, fill the tank when you're done. My God, I love that quote. It that also makes me laugh. <laughs> when low on boat fuel, the boat fuel is stored with the generator fuel inside the processing building of the fish farm. Take only what you need. Okay. In this area, there's going to be fish bases everywhere. When you shoot one of them, you have to pick them up. They're also used for healing. Oh, wow. God damn it. Looks like we're in the fish farm here, ladies and gentlemen. And there's going to be another brute over here that's going to annoy that living crap out of you. That guy really gets on my nerves. Kind of like the Minotaur. Yeah, at least he's dead. I don't want to have to worry about that punk right now. There's more. Grenade. Come on. Crazy lady. Boom! Okay, I gotta combine my yellow herbs to this one. Then I gotta use it to upgrade my health. And also, let's craft. Oh, a Thrymia symbol. More grenades.
Oh, there's a ladder that leads to the exit. Oh, and there's gonna be crossbow dudes over there. And then these guys? Absolutely annoying. They can attack Leon anytime they want. And they shave off health. So watch out, okay, folks? Dead. Seriously? Look, a snake! Those vipers. These torch dudes, they, all they do is they breathe fire. Alright. Let's keep killing them. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. There's one. Two. Two more left, folks. Two more. Two more left. The treasure is located over here. Antique pipe. Oh, that's good to know. You better collect some antique pipes, Leon. You can hear these stupid trip wires. Probably go over there and lure them here. Better shoot it! Better shoot it! Booyah! Got ya! Oh, I got one anyway. Double kill. <laughs> Alright. That's good. All I gotta do is keep on killing them. I mean... Has Leon been training with his old comrade? I don't know. Oh, but let's see if we can shoot this blue medallion over here right now. Dang. Suppose I have to go up here and destroy some gunpowder. That's our fourth one, ladies and gentlemen. The final one is right here. It's over there on that left side. Come on, shoot the final viper. Where did that viper go? Ah. At least I got two. Oh! Whoa! For a moment there, I thought there was going to be a trip wire. I could have got a heart attack. But I didn't. Got ourselves a hexagon piece. Well, you know, it's getting hard. But I didn't. Well, I got all the blue medallions. So that would be good, you know. To the crow! Let's go into the shed and find that small key. And don't worry about those vipers. Just ignore them. Break the lock open. Hit that great chicken egg and boat fuel. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Before we go on to that boat, we're gonna go back to the merchant. We're out of here. Oh great, another trip wire. Oh good. Kick. More facetas. And get in the water. 
for the most part, you're gonna have to be shooting some fishes. You know? I'm gonna find the fish first. And catch one. Where are the fishes? What does this lead to? Oh, there it is. A fish. Alright, I'm gonna check. See if I got room. Black base. Oh God. Oh no, 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 no. I don't need the knife anyway. The kitchen knife, that is. Go away, I just got a fish. Ambush me. Dang. There's another one. Let's just kill her first before we leave. Die, hag. My god, you look like Margaret from Resident Evil 7. Jeez. But I digress. She doesn't look like her. But she does look like her, but she's not. I think one of them looks like Jack Baker. You know? Anyway, now that we've got the small key, we're gonna go to that go to that locked treasure. To where the docks are. Where we, where we, and that uh hunting gallery is. Let's sell our vipers, okay? And our fishes. Took care of <laughs> nice work. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. A deal well struck. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Of course. Now let's uh, increase this. You one. want a fighting chance out there? We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. There you are, as you wished. Let's let's see if we could uh, let's see, trade. Let's trade for the uh, laser sight. We like an interesting choice. That's for the Punisher. Oh, I mean it in a good way. Let's check requests, shall we? Will that be all then? Nope. I'd say I'm gonna sell some of that uh spittle, right? Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Nope, those those pink stuff are the spinels. Pink spinels, you know. Come back any time. Alright. Let's go over there and use our small key. What does that give you? Brass pocket watch. Awesome. Now we can sell that brass pocket watch from now on. What can I do? A deal well struck. Don't sell the ruby, just save the ruby, Leon. A recipe for flash grenades. Well then, happy cooking. <laughs> well oh, then, happy Williams cooking. Space. I love the cooking expression. Like, happy cooking. This dude's really British. 
I love his British accent, you know. Yes, sir. Pleasant travels. Anyway, folks, now that we got that boat fuel, we're gonna head up to that boat so that we can we can fill it up, and we can go to the lake, which leads to a boss battle, right? There's a boss battle in this one, you know. Peace here. And, uh, time for a peace day resistance. Place that boat fuel in there so that we can go on in the boat. Alright folks, this is the Del Lago. You gotta defeat the lake monster. You gotta throw harpoons at him to shave off his health. Number one, we have to use the control stick to move the boat. And do not run into obstacles, because that would be no good. You're gonna have a bad time if you run into obstacles, you know what I mean? And watch out, because if he lands on you, on his mouth, that's instant death. Right there. You gotta make sure you aim for his mouth when when the boat stops. There are no quick time events in this one. I remember in that in 2005, you you gotta cut the rope down when you're stuck. You gotta aim for his mouth. If he swallows you whole, that's instant death. That's no good. And uh, let's keep on shooting him till he's defeated. Then when he comes out of the water, you gotta keep shooting this lake monster. It's called the. Uh, it's called Del Lago. So yeah, in Resident Evil 4: 2005, you cannot shoot the water because if you shoot the water. The lake monster will eat you alive instantly. Do not do that. You know how dangerous that monster is? Where'd you go? Oh, jeez. He touches me. Game over. And. Goodbye, Del Lago. folks that is the end of chapter three yep 
We defeated Del Lago, and after defeating Del Lago, Leon just coughed up blood and he passed out. But yeah, folks. Anyway, folks, let's come back for part two where we're going to do chapter four on the next video. See you then.